So, welcome everyone to uh, Acelio's inauguration. It is uh, truly an honor to have you all here. And a special thank you, of course, to, to uh, Masen for a good collaboration uh, that even makes this possible today. Um, so I'm not going to hold the speech, but I'm going to go through uh, the program for today. We will first be here and listen to presentations from uh, Masen and from Asilio. And then we will uh, be transported to the installation that we saw from the tower. And there we will have an inauguration ceremony. And then we will go back here and we will have a joint lunch together. Um, so, I'm not going to say too much more, but I would like to welcome up the President of Masen, Mr. Bakuri. Thank you very much. I will allow you, I ask you to allow me to speak in French, and, and Hisham will, uh, uh, of course, help me to translate to everybody in English. It's uh, better for me, and I prefer that uh, my speech be as clear as possible. Just, uh, et je voudrais évidemment vous souhaiter la bienvenue, uh, Monsieur le Ministre. Euh, monsieur les ambassadeurs, euh, honorable, honorable invité pour euh, cet événement euh, exceptionnel, et je vais expliquer pourquoi. So the president would like to welcome the ministers, ambassadors, and distinguished guests to this exceptional uh, ceremony, and he will go through the reasons why it is exceptional. Uh, Comme vous, vous venez de le constater rapidement, nous sommes euh, ici à Warzazat au sein du, du complexe solaire multitechnologique le plus important au monde. Mais avant cela, ça a été un désert total. Euh, un désert total qui est aujourd'hui euh, une source d'énergie euh, pour une bonne partie des, des Marocains. Pour donner une idée, c'est... La capacité de Ouazazat adresse l'équivalent de la population de Casablanca, 4 millions d'habitants. So, uh, as you have visited from the Mirador, you are located in uh, the world's biggest multi-technology uh, solar complex. And this solar complex, uh, just a few years ago, was just a, a barren desert. Um, and to have you, to give you a figure for comparison, uh, the Warzazat complex generates enough electricity to power the city of Casablanca, which is the biggest city uh, in Morocco. Donc, bien que cela soit une réalité euh, tangible aujourd'hui, euh, à travers le solaire, à travers aussi les projets éoliens que nous développons au Maroc, l'hydroélectrique, notre ambition, c'est d'aller encore plus loin. So, although you see it today as a, as a reality, uh, the solar complex comes as a complement to other projects that we are developing, most notably in wind power. And our ambition is to go much farther down the road of renewable energy development. Et cette ambition vise à utiliser le renouvelable pour, euh, d'abord, plus, plus fortement pour les besoins électriques, mais aussi pour adresser des besoins économiques euh, Divers, divers et variés dans plusieurs secteurs. So our vision for renewable energy is, of course, to increase the part of renewable energy for electricity production, but not only that. We are looking to find places for use of renewable energy in economic development at a wider, wider place. Et évidemment, nous savons que c'est aussi le, le souhait et, et l'objectif de beaucoup d'autres acteurs et de beaucoup d'autres pays. Et c'est la raison pour laquelle, parallèlement au projet que nous avons développé, nous avons entrepris d'agir de, 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 et, de, et de, 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 de mettre en place des partenariats dans tout ce qui touche à l'innovation dans ce secteur, qui lui permet d'être encore plus compétitif et encore plus apte à adresser ses, 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 ses besoins. 
So uh, our agenda for development of renewable energy matches that of many other countries, in, and in particular European countries, and that's the reason and the motivation for a lot of the partnerships that we are building with our countries to make renewable energy more competitive, more accessible, and more widely used around the world. C'est la raison pour laquelle nous avons conçu dès le départ ici une grande plateforme de, de, de R&D comme levier d'interaction avec les industriels, les acteurs de recherche, les acteurs institutionnels. Et c'est euh, autour de cette plateforme que nous avons pu euh, faire la rencontre avec Azelio la première fois il y a déjà euh, six ans, 2014. À l'époque, ça s'appelait autre chose. Euh, et, et, et depuis cette date, nous, sommes allés, nous, sommes, nous avons franchi un, un chemin intéressant qui nous amène jusqu'à aujourd'hui. Mais je vais rappeler les principales étapes. So the uh, part of the initial design of the complex that we are uh, located in is an R&D platform that becomes a platform for meeting partners who are technology developers, most notably Azelio, that we have uh, started working with part back in 2014 when it has a different name by then, so clean energy. And ever since we have done a considerable work in partnerships which brings us to what, where we are today. Le partenariat avec Azelio vise à adresser un des challenges les plus importants quant à l'usage massif de, du renouvelable, à savoir le stockage qui permet de dépasser de manière définitive l'intermittence que beaucoup de détracteurs du renouvelable mettent en avant pour dénigrer le renouvelable. So the partnership with Azelio addresses a main problem or limitation of renewable energy, which is intermittence. And this intermittence is being put forward as an argument by people who don't want to see renewable energy being adopted widely. And so we are working on a main obstacle for renewable energy adoption around the world. Et comme vous le savez, le monde entier est, est, est encore à la recherche des meilleures manières de, de stocker de l'énergie pour euh, adresser des besoins divers et variés, électriques, mobilité, mais aussi de différentes tailles, de petites tailles, pour, euh, à l'échelle individuelle, à l'échelle de village, mais aussi à l'échelle de, de, de grands réseaux. As you all know, uh, renewable energy remains a challenge for the worldwide community. So everyone is working on how to store best renewable energy at multiple scales, from the house to the village to a country level, but also for multiple users. That would be transportation, but also industry and other types of uses of stored renewable energy. Évidemment, nous parlons de compétitivité technique, mais aussi économique. Et c'est cette, cette double dimension qui est présente dans la coopération avec Azelio qui permet aujourd'hui, de, de, à travers la rencontre d'aujourd'hui, à travers les présentations qui vont être faites, à travers l'inauguration, donc de voir de près le, le démonstrateur qui va répondre à, à beaucoup de ces, de ces questions. So the challenge is, is not only competitiveness in technical terms, but it's also economic competitiveness for a solution. And the What we will be inaugurating today addresses both aspects at the same time, and uh, this is something that has to be taken into account moving forward. So I won't say more about this demonstrator, on this solution. However, I will euh, insist and remind on euh, the elements that have permis de de travailler ensemble déjà depuis 2014, comme je le mentionnais, mais de, de, de manière plus forte depuis 2018, année où nous avons signé notre accord de coopération, et, et qui finalement, en, en, en très peu de temps, a permis d'installer de, de, un climat de confiance majeur entre nous deux, mais aussi entre nous deux et d'autres acteurs, notamment les industriels, et puis quelques institutionnels qui qui vont permettre à cette, à cette coopération de se poursuivre à travers des vrais projets qui vont adresser des vrais besoins. So the uh, partnership uh, that we have with uh, Azelio uh, is, so the president will not say more about the demonstration it, itself, but he, will, he would like to focus on what made our partnership a successful one. And this success of partnership has allowed us to bring in other types of partners 
including Moroccan industries who contributed to this partnership, but also potential partners, because ultimately what is sought is a market for this technology, both here and in Africa. Et évidemment, euh, la dimension continentale nous est très chère euh, et, et Mazen a entrepris depuis trois ans de, de, de tisser des accords de partenariat avec plusieurs pays. Nous avons aujourd'hui près, près d'une quinzaine d'accords à l'échelle continentale avec notre ferme volonté de, de, de travailler dans un cadre partenarial à changer la réalité du continent en termes énergétiques et en termes électriques en, en particulier. Le, tous les pays du continent disposent de ressources renouvelables avérées de grande qualité et, et, et il y a aujourd'hui suffisamment d'ingrédients pour les, les utiliser à, à, à développer des projets, des vrais projets au bénéfice des populations. So the continental, the African dimension is in uh, Mazen uh, DNA. And so we have worked diligently to create uh, a lot of strong partnerships. So we are today at over 15 agreements or collaboration agreements with Africans. It turns out that all of the African countries have renewable resources of one way or the other. And Mazen is working with them to help make renewable energy an essential part of the electricity generation, but in general, the energy landscape of Africa moving forward. Et nous avons d'ailleurs pris part, euh, au-delà de ces accords bilatéraux, à des initiatives euh, régionales. Euh, je peux citer euh, à titre euh, d'exemple euh, le Desert to Power Initiative, qui vise à valoriser les ressources solaires de, des pays du Sahel et du, du sud de, 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 du Sahara, de la bande sahélo-saharienne qui concerne euh, une douzaine de pays, euh, avec un potentiel important et qui a des besoins importants qui, 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 qui s'il n'était pas adressé encore pendant longtemps, il, il pourrait même aggraver les situations sécuritaires de ces pays. So, uh, in addition to the bilateral agreement that we have with many African countries, we have also participated in multilateral agreements, and uh, the president mentioned specifically the Desert to Power Agreement, that looks to address the uh, Sahel region and the south of Sahel region, to bring electricity to these countries and the absence of access to energy could bring consequences from a security perspective, not just from the uh, energy perspective. Et je voudrais citer aussi l'initiative ou la coalition que nous avons initiée ensemble avec l'Ethiopie et qui vise à promouvoir l'usage des énergies durables à l'échelle des LDCs, les pays les moins avancés. Et cela aussi, c'est une... C'est une nécessité euh, qui, pour le développement de ces pays, mais cette nécessité ne doit pas tomber, euh, rentrer en conflit avec l'effort de, 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 de travail collectif pour la réduction des effets des changements climatiques, qui est une nécessité. Mais nous pensons que la combinaison, l'usage des énergies renouvelables peut marier cette double, cette, cette double objectif qui peut paraître contradictoire, développement et euh, protection de, 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 de l'environnement. Another initiative uh, that the president mentions is the coalition uh, that Morocco, that Mazen has built with, uh, with, it, with Ethiopia and that seeks to use and makes a, make available renewable energy to the least developed countries, LDCs. And for these particular countries, uh, there are a, a, an imperative of economic development, but there is also the global imperative of reduction of global uh, emissions or uh, um, um, the uh, gas CO2 emissions. And the president mentions that these two objectives need not be contradictory with one another and can be uh, actually married into a uh, harmonious development strategy. C'est pour ça que je pense que notre événement d'aujourd'hui est un événement exceptionnel parce qu'il apporte une réponse concrète à une problématique majeure et à laquelle je crois que nous devrions être tous fiers de, de travailler au, au quotidien pour, pour y apporter une réponse. So, uh, all of these reasons make this ceremony today is uh, an exceptional event because it brings a solution to all of these challenges that we are facing and that uh, these successes actually encourage further collaboration and work uh, together to address these challenges and, and continue down the same path. Et évidemment, je voudrais saisir l'occasion pour remercier tous, euh, tous ceux qui ont travaillé des deux côtés, 
et aussi nos partenaires pour euh, à, à, à arriver à, à, à la date d'aujourd'hui, pour permettre aux démonstrateurs qui fonctionnent depuis quelques jours de manière parfaite. Et, et pour ça, euh, évidemment, un, un, un remerciement collectif, mais un remerciement en particulier à, au ministre euh, Pat Noder, qui a été d'un support euh, d'abord dans, dans la relation et qui a facilité les, les contacts, qui, qui a encadré ces contacts depuis. Un, un, un remerciement à Kent Yanner pour, pour aussi son implication. Et je salue le, sa conviction à l'égard de, de ce secteur. Et cette conviction se traduit par des actes très concrets. Euh, évidemment, M. Bokins pour, 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 pour aussi son implication. Euh, et le, le CEO, Jonas okay. Klint. Je voudrais saluer, nous, nous inviter, le ministre euh, du Botswana, de, de, de l'énergie, des de, de, de green technologies, de, du secteur des mines, et la délégation sud-africaine, en plus de, de, du ministère des Finances de la délégation sud-africaine, en plus évidemment de, de la délégation importante de la Banque mondiale, donc un partenaire euh, historique qui, a, qui nous a accompagnés dans notre aventure et qui aujourd'hui est à nos côtés avec d'autres institutionnels sur les ambitions aussi bien marocaines que les ambitions continentales. Et, et, mais aussi, et je voudrais en dire un mot, l'ambition transcontinentale, puisque nous travaillons sur une perspective d'utilisation de, euh, de manière bénéfique pour les deux rives de la Méditerranée des énergies renouvelables dans la satisfaction de, de, de nos besoins économiques à travers euh, la cette roadmap qui, qui mobilise euh, des équipes euh, du Maroc, mais aussi des équipes de cinq pays européens. Et ça, euh, c'est pour dire que nous avons déjà aussi un œil sur, sur le futur. So, the President would like to thank all of the teams that make the uh, inauguration today a reality, in particular. Uh, Minister Parnuther for his uh, leadership in making the relationship last, but also Kent Yanner for his trust in the field, uh, and also Bo Dankis and Jonas Eklin for their leadership as a chairman of the board, but also as a CEO. The president would like also to extend his thank and welcome to the minister uh, from Burundi, Botswana, and also the uh, delegation from South Africa, Uh, last but not least, the World Bank has been a historic partner, both for the Moroccan renewable energy, but also the continental renewable energy agenda and beyond, because we're starting, uh, we're working with the World Bank for the transcontinental between Europe and Africa to make renewable energy a link between the continents and not just within the continent uh, confines. Évidemment, Monsieur l'Ambassadeur, avec qui j'ai plusieurs points d'interaction à Rabat, mais aussi à Casablanca. Et monsieur le Consul Général qui a bien voulu être avec nous aujourd'hui. Et je vous remercie pour votre attention et vous souhaitez une très bonne inauguration. Mr. Ambassador, with whom the President has been working on multiple topics, the uh, Honorary Council uh, that is uh, also uh, present here, and the President would like to thank you all for your attention. Thank you very much. And uh, next speaker, we have uh, Aselius, chairman of the board, Mr. Boudankis. So thank you very much. Ministers, your excellencies, uh, distinguished guests, uh, colleagues, sun lovers, ladies and gentlemen, uh, it is a great, great pleasure Uh, to be here today. And let me first address a couple of words to uh, President Bakuri. Monsieur le Président, c'est un grand honneur pour nous d'être ici aujourd'hui. Uh, c'est un grand pas pour nous. Uh, notre coopération est vraiment formidable. C'est une coopération qui est professionnelle, et amicable. Et maintenant, aujourd'hui, on va prendre un grand pas uh, vers un futur très, très, très vert et uh, à bénéfice pour tout le monde, en effet. Mais nous allons continuer notre, notre plan, nos plans ensemble et après ça, nous continuerons à prendre des pas à pas euh, vers un futur euh, ensemble. So we are here <coughs> uh, 
on this inauguration, we are extremely happy with the cooperation with Marsan. It's a cooperation that is very professional, uh, very, um, if I say friendly, it may sound strange uh, from sort of a uh, northern European perspective, but the cooperation is very, very um, strong and, and, uh, and friendly, actually. We are uh, following our plans. We have a strong plan together. Uh, we are today seeing something uh, which is rather uh, unique in its way because you can call it it's bo both uh, a, uh, a, um, uh, a cornerstone and, and, uh, and a watermark at, this, at the same time. Um, we are continuing the plans that we do, uh, but we should, of course, stop and celebrate this, uh, this first uh, and this very important uh, inauguration. Um, I think I'll stop here, actually, because we have a couple of very interesting presentations that I would really like you uh, to enjoy. But thank you very much for coming here. Thank you very much for joining us in this, for us, a very, very important step. Thank you very much for coming. Merci beaucoup d'être venu. Thank you, Bo. Uh, now we welcome up uh, Marcin's uh, director R&D and also uh, part of the board in Asilio, Ms. Uh, Dr. Hisham Busekri. Thank you very much. I move away from my translator job to my other job here. So, uh, um, of course, it's also uh, my uh, biggest pleasure to welcome you all. Um, I think it's easy to um, forget that when things get going, you don't have all of the things that we have been achieved. And so trust has to be there before achievements are here. And what we have done with Azalea is really a mutual trust relationship that has allowed us to come a long way. And uh, before going into the details of the presentation of Mazen, I would like also to thank all of my colleagues at the board and also all of the um, trust that has been built in a technology that is being developed that addresses uh, a mutual interest and also the possibility and the work and the effort that has gone into working with Moroccan industry, integrating into everything that we are doing, technology transfer, transfer joint value creation, and uh, solving together uh, challenges for the Morocco and Africa. So I don't want to take a lot of time, so I'll be just highlighting a few important facts. Uh, as the president was mentioning, uh, Mazen is the Moroccan Agency for Sustainable Energy. It has been created by the Moroccan government to undertake the uh, or to achieve the national targets of renewable energy uh, which have been fixed at 42% by 2020, which is this year. Turns out that this year is our 10-year anniversary as well. And at least 52% by 2030. So Morocco, as a very open economy, has created two frameworks, one for the private actor actors to invest, and also for Mazen to develop uh, renewable energy at a much larger, larger scale for, for the national objective. Concretely, that means that we are, uh, have the obligation to establish 3,000 megawatts of installed capacity from renewable energy by 2020 and 6,000 megawatts uh, by 2030 in order to achieve these targets. So Mazen has been created really as an agency that uh, has taken into account the multiple skills that are needed for a country in Morocco, and one has to remember that when we started off, Morocco did not have an industry in renewable energy, it didn't have competences, and so all of, that, all of this had, had to be um, brought forward before uh, this is uh, a, a reality. So electricity production uh, is only one part uh, that Mazen looks into. We consider renewable energy as a vector of development, as the president was mentioning, Renewable energy has to be taken into account in the context of Africa as an opportunity to develop a certain number of fields. So R&D, uh, we just mentioned uh, the partnerships that we are building, but we're also training resources, both Moroccan and African partners. We are working with local industry and 
Even in the first renewable energy plant that was built here, 30% of the plant was built by Moroccan companies. The next plants, we were at 35% and we're looking forward to, to this. We are also quite uh, attentive to the quality of life of the populations around our plants. And so we have a number of actions that can be seen highlighted at the bottom of the, of the slide where we work beyond renewable energy into improving uh, schooling access for uh, young girls and young boys in these villages, bringing, of course, electricity, but also social development. And uh, all of that contributes into a much better acceptance of renewable energy plans. So when Mazen announces a project in a province or in an area, it is seen as a vector of development that is coming to these, uh, to these areas. Um, Mazen has created also platforms to allow the local industry to contribute to this national uh, project and uh, the cluster which is located in Casablanca and which benefits from the World Bank support is also working on entrepreneurship for uh, green entrepreneurship. It is working to help Moroccan industry be aware of the opportunities of renewable energy that renewable energy creates. So the platform uh, is, is actually open to all technologies. Mazen has adopted the technology agnostic approach. We are very well aware of the challenges that renewable energy brings. And so storage is something that we work on both from a CSP perspective, from a PV perspective. And we are open to helping technology developers, investors bring new technology that reduces costs and improves reliability. And so these are the two dimensions that the president mentioned. Uh, a few numbers just to highlight what we are doing for the local populations. Uh, at least 33,000 people benefited from the presence of Mazen in these regions, and this is only the beginning. We look forward to increase, and so we go way beyond to what, renew what energy can bring into uh, income generating activities, uh, health, education, and, and others. So renewable energy is a vector of development of these, uh, of these areas. You have here the pipeline of projects that are fully functional and already injecting green electrons into the Moroccan grids. And thanks to the interconnection with Europe, some of these green electrons end up in Europe as well. So the, uh, we are located at the complex where you see the yellow numbers two, three, four, and five. And these are the four uh, solar complexes. But we have some of the best uh, wind uh, resources in the world with uh, very high capacity factors and average wind. And we have been able to achieve world record numbers both in LCOE for wind, onshore wind, but also for solar. And every time Mazen puts forward a project, like the, the latest project, which is Midelt, this project becomes also the new standard in terms of competitiveness of renewable energy with storage. Some details that I mentioned uh, while we were at the Mirador, so I'll skip over that. And we also are interested in finding the right technology for every area. And so what you see here is that depending on the size of the grid, depending on the size of the local uh, demand for electricity, we are ready to work on uh, PV plants that are sized in, in different ways. Um, the middle project, so the, the wind projects that are under development actually are on the coast, but not only. So we have three wind corridors in Morocco and renewable and, and wind projects are actually located in these projects. I, uh, an interesting mention that Morocco is a leader uh, and a pioneer in renewable energy uh, wide projects. And so the Teza wind project, which is the dark uh, blue number one, was started off back in 2000. And in 2019, it was the end of the concession. And just by technology development, we have more than doubled the power coming from that plant, just because the windmills and the power uh, of these windmills have increased uh, considerably. Quick words on the pipeline of projects. Nor Middelt, uh, the first plant of 800 megawatts, which was just announced uh, for a consortium that has, start, has announced financial closing, started bidding. Another project is underbidding, which is the second 
phase of middles, but we also, we also have a, a PV pipeline of projects and wind projects. For the most part, uh, given that we are a water-stressed country, uh, there are no major dams for renewable energy, although we are working on steps for energy storage in, in hydro. The president also mentioned uh, a uh, strong commitment from Morocco to work with its uh, European partners under uh, the set road map agreement that would allow a transfer of electricity. It turns out that uh, renewable energy doesn't peak in the south of Spain and or in Europe in Morocco at the same time. And by allowing a free flow of energy, we can reduce the need for local storage both in Europe and in Morocco. Last uh, but not least, these are the countries where Morocco has uh, an agreement in place with uh, multiple countries. And this project, this is an, uh, an ongoing demand for Moroccan expertise to be shared with our African partners. And so we are more than happy uh, to, to work with the partners under the multilateral lateral agreements such as Desert to Power and the coalition, but also on a bilateral um, uh, fashion when it's needed. So the last slide uh, is what Mazen looks forward in terms of renewable energy usage beyond electricity production. And what we see is that there will be a bigger and a much wider market for renewable energy beyond just electricity production. And so that covers uh, electric mobility, lighting, waste to energy, heat, cold, and water treatment. And one of the latest announcements is that Mazin is also looking into hydrogen production as a vector for uh, energy storage and energy transport. So I will end my presentation here. Uh, I don't know if, um, if you have any questions that are urgently need to be asked now, or we can move to the presentation of... Thank you, Hisham. Uh, now it is time for the CEO of Asilio, Mr. Jonas Eklin. Yes, sure. So the Masam video first, yes. Sunlight, wind, water. Morocco is bringing with clean energy sources that are both infinite and renewable. It boasts several wind farms, either under construction or already operational. Most hydraulic plants are operational, and many solar energy projects are at various stages of development. Founded in 2010, Mazen is the company responsible for harnessing Morocco's renewable energy thus making the Kingdom's commitment to clean energy a reality. Before Mazen and the National Office of Electricity and Water Supply, ONE began their work. These arid plains were completely untouched by human activity. The wind blew through the mountains without turning the blade of a single turbine, and the rivers flowed without encountering any dams. Several studies were carried out to determine which sites offered the best potential for clean energy production. The topography, geology, hydrography and systemicity of each site were all researched, as well as the potential environmental and social impact of a plant. Mazen's expert teams then researched the best technology for each site selecting the one that would generate optimum yields and which would best meet the country's electricity needs, as specified by the ONE, Mazen's sole client and partner. The Norwazazat project is a multi-technology solar complex, boasting CSP trowels, CSP tower and photovoltaic. Meanwhile, at Normi Delt, the company opted for hybrid technology, combining CSP and photovoltaic in a single plant. Great advantages have been made in energy storage, meaning that the two Wazazat power plants are now able to generate electricity for up to seven hours after the sun has set. For wind farms, Mazen has chosen to pursue onshore projects, which are currently the most competitive. Once these studies were completed, Mazen, alongside the ONE, mobilized their engineering resources and thousands of men and women, laborers, technicians and engineers set to work building the renewable power plants. And 
And so Mazen's projects are gradually taking shape across the untouched Moroccan plains. The company's teams monitor all operations so that the environment equipment standards and the safety of the plants are ensured at all times. Mazan also builds roads and connection infrastructure for water, electricity and telecommunications. All of which contribute to the region's development. Once these highly efficient power plants become operational, Mazen is responsible for maintaining them. The goal is to maximize operating hours and minimize maintenance downtime. In addition, Mazen regularly carries out meticulous operations of all its equipment and facilities to ensure that the power plants are as long-lasting as the energy sources they are built to harness. Mazen's expert knowledge has earned it a reputation as one of the leading specialists in renewable energy production today. Now Mazen is keen to put their knowledge to work for their partner countries in Africa, where demand for such expertise is high. Mazen is committed to transforming electricity into energy that fuels development. Mazen enters power for progress. Yeah, that's a very impressive video and, and the vision and the uh, endless power for progress is actually what we are doing here because power is the key for progress, for development and also for wealth. Without power, you can, can't do what you actually want. And what Aselio, the core, when and where is needed. Uh, when you want the electricity and where you need it, want it. That's the core of our CLU. And what we do is the distributed or decentralized uh, uh, base load. We actually do the similar thing what you have seen out here today with the parabolic trough and, and the tower. But we do it close to the end user. And what we can do here is that we actually help the grid uh, to be able to handle more intermittent sources, meaning handling more renewables. So without, without, with, with our system, you can have a grid with much higher penetration of wind and solar, but you can also use the system standalone, meaning that you have your own base load power power plant next to your factory, next to your agriculture installation, uh, next to your home in the future. Uh, so in a small installation, you can get uh, renewable uh, energy 24 hours a day. And as Jonas Valmander said yesterday evening, we do solar electricity in the middle of the night. That's the core of Aselia. And of course, if you want very cheap electricity, then you go for PV, photovoltaic. That's the yellow part. You get the most in the middle of the day, and you get nothing, of course, in the night. <laughs> uh, and if you want to have solar electricity 24 hours a day, you have to have storage. I mean, that's a, that's a, that's a must. And together with the PV, and the Acelio system, you can get solar electricity 24 hours a day. But the, the question of storage is much, much more complex, as we heard from Raphael yesterday evening. It's a lot of dimensions in this. I will not repeat what you said, but the, the core here is actually that you are back in demand, not the nature. That's the core, because that was the success of, of fossil fuel. You went from renewal, the nature was in charge, 
all of a sudden you had stored energy in fossil fuels and then you were in charge deciding I want power now just burn some coal or oil <laughs> we are giving back that power to you but with renewable so you can decide when you want solar energy when you want uh, wind energy with our system and any fancy uh, technical mambo jumbo that's actually the essence of that that we bring back the decision to the user of the power and in english you say dispatchable meaning that you are in charge you say i want power now and i want it on that level not just waiting for oh the sun is up now now we can run the factory uh, it should be the other way around and the core of the CLU is that we provide uh, storage so you can run your production 24 hours a day based on renewables. And that's, of course, a key factor here. But even more importantly is the cost. The cost for a kilowatt hour of electricity is the most important part when deciding about which kilowatt hour you want to buy. We can talk about CO2, we can talk about the pollution, we can talk about everything like that. But a cheaper kilowatt hour is better than a more expensive one. That's the general agenda in the world. Uh, and with our system, we can provide this cost-efficient kilowatt hour 24 hours a day. And as I started, we have this scalable modular system that you can build, small scale, medium scale, and of course, also large scale. Uh, but the, the, the initial project share will be small, medium scale, close to the end user. Because there we have a unique advantage that we can build this uh, decentralized or distributed baseload. Uh, but the system can be used for different things in the grid or in the off grid environment. So in the grid, it can provide uh, stability, helping the grid to actually uh, accept more renewable uh, sources and more intermittency. And then we can build it off-grid as a standalone system or with a very unreliable grid. And what you will see out there today is the system. We have two modules of the system and what it does it stores energy as thermal energy, as heat. And when we were up in the tower here looking at this uh, CSP uh, units, they talked about how many hours you can store for. And we have for 13 hours of nominal production, meaning that if we run the system on almost full power, then the stored energy lasts for 13 hours. Then, of course, we can run it on half power, and then it lasts for 26 hours, and so on. Uh, but the intention of the system is actually to store daytime energy and to use it the, the rest 18, 17 hours. And what we do here in the system, we are using an aluminum, a recycled aluminum, as a storage material. Uh, and we press in uh, renewable energy as thermal energy into that aluminum. And when we want it, we bring it back uh, as thermal and we have a, a thermal engine, a Stirling engine, converted that thermal en energy back to electricity. Uh, and as a result, we also get heat. What you will see out here and what you see in the calculations in the brochure you have received, that's based on the efficiency on 29% going from energy to electricity. But in the future project, we will use a 90% system efficiency going from renewable energy to renewable electricity and renewable heat. And for charging the system, what you see out here, it's a PV that we use solar, PV, electricity, producing thermal energy out of that electricity. Or you can, of course, connect it to uh, wind power. And you can actually connect it also to mirrors in the same way as you have the, the big CSP tower out here. 
that you directly collect the thermal energy from the sun. But it, if you compare it to the CSP trough and CSP tower, what you saw before here, is that we are looking for the smaller and medium-sized projects, uh, mainly 100 kilowatt up to 20 megawatt, but looking also into product up to 100 megawatt. And out here you have uh, 160, 200 megawatt and so on. That's the size you need to build with CSP to get the same financial numbers as we can build in a one megawatt system. And as we talked about yesterday, there is a need of this distributed or uh, decentralized storage and of course a huge need of storage. And everything is based on the cost for the kilowatt hour. And of course, if you have a large utility scale production and produce for the grid, that's one thing. Uh, looking here at, at our numbers, we will not compete with the CSP uh, production in 2021 when we initiate our uh, uh, produ uh, volume production. But we are much, much uh, more cost efficient than the distributed production of electricity, meaning using PV and batteries or using PV together with DC generators. And this is the, what you will see out on the integration with two modules with storage for 13 hours and two Stirling engines for conversion of thermal into electricity. And that's where we are now uh, starting up this verification project here in, in Basasat, Morocco. Later this year, we will do the, the first two commercial installations uh, later this year. And in the middle of next year, we will initiate uh, volume production. And we actually have a, a factory in Sweden, previously producing cars, rebuilt to produce a system for renewable energy storage. And that can take the circle from renewable into fossil and back to renewable and back to having you in charge of the power when and where it's needed. And that's the core of Aselia. And soon you will see also the system. Thank you. Thank you, Jonas. Uh, soon we will uh, be transported uh, to the installation, but first we're going to see a short uh, security video from Asen. So have a look at the screen.
Great. So thank you very much. And on the way out, we just talked to the photographers. Uh, they, we can take a group photo outside before we go to the installation. So it's just outside. Thank you. <laughs>